This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. Unit 5, building apps, lesson 11, wall loops, puzzle 14, debugging complex logic. In this challenge, you need to find and fix the bug in the problem that simulates rolling a die. There's a bug. Oh, is it infinite? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, the given code accidentally loops. Ah, oh, maybe I should have read the next line, Tim. In loops infinitely. So something must be wrong with the condition. Can you try to figure out how to fix it? Ah, I guess. Fix the condition so that it keeps rolling the die as long as the value is not, is not two or three. So right now, if it is two, if it's not two, so oh, this is an or. So if the dice is three, but it checks, is the dice not two? This returns true. It never even checks if it's not three because it already knows it's an or statement. Or statement, only one side has to be true for it to be true. Okay? So the dice, this will always, this is infinite. This will always be true because if the dice is three, well, then it's definitely not two. So this side would be true and it's going to run, all right? Or if the dice is two, then it's definitely not three, but it doesn't matter because this side is true and it's going to run. Only one side has to be true. Or if it is two, this side will be true, I mean, and it won't run. So, and means both. So now I know it is not a two and not a three. Let's try now. Roll the three. Stopped. Roll the two. Stopped. There we go. Yep. But uh. So that's tricky. And or an or are tricky. And means both sides need to be true. So in this sense, that we're asking. Wait a minute. Is it not two or <laughs> or? See how me doing it though. And not three. So this means that the dice is neither not a two and it's also not a three or means it is not three, not two. And if either one of those is true, the whole thing is true. This both have to be true. Oh, these are tricky. It kind of hurts your head, huh? All right, let's uh, keep going. 